Since this engine was assembled, it's used a fire ring style gasket. And if we clean off some of the oil and the glue used to seal it on a couple cylinders, we can see just how much that ring uh, kind of burrows its way into the cylinder head over time. And interestingly enough, if you look right here, we've got a pretty pronounced lip. See that lip on this side? So this is the exhaust side of the head where the casting is going to be subjected to more heat. And then if you come over to the intake side of the head, a whole lot less action with that ring bedding into the head. And you can see it also in the kind of a signature. This is not, um, this dark ring is not oil, it's vibration. So you have this ring that's um, vibrating very small amounts. The head's vibrating very small amounts, but it, it rubs itself together over time. And if you look, the signature of the rub on the exhaust side of the casting and on the intake side of the casting is quite a bit different because this side of the head is hot. You have all that heat, there's more expansion, and it's, it's bedding in more. So this is one of the things we talked about with the fire ring head gasket and the flame hoop head gasket. Things are gonna be moving. There's no way around it. And Smiley has been maintaining this gasket system by watching the coolant pressure, and anytime he sees an elevated coolant pressure, he goes back in and he retorks the head. And that's worked um, extremely well for him because again, you have this, this ring is not really in a position to deteriorate. If you don't lean this engine out and torch a hole in it, it's, it's a, it's a long-term situation. However, it does come at the cost of bedding into the casting. And as we move forward and we start to talk about valve train life and how the shape of the valve job and the shape of the valve seats changes with heat and changes with deflection, keep in mind that when you have a high level of influence at the deck for distortion, when you're forcing solid objects together, you're gonna to be distorting these valve seats, which in turn is gonna change your valve job and the valve exhausts a lot of its heat back into the seat through the valve job. So if you really start wanna zooming out on longevity, you want the least amount of distortion at the flange seal or head gasket surface to promote the longest amount of life out of the engine, not only from a sealing standpoint, but from a valve train standpoint.